Hello, everybody, and thank you to another tape recording of uh, my open journal philosophy. Uh, this topic is um, somewhat of a continuation of my last tape, and I wanted to discuss the things about an enabler. And enablers can be very dangerous, and I say that because, and it, well, first of all, for those who don't know, an enabler is someone who constantly encourages or sets the stage for someone else to continue something that puts them at stake of being a liability. Let me break it down for you. You have a woman who has been sheltered her whole life. And she's been sheltered in a way where the people she depends on the most are the same ones who do everything for her. So if she tries to do something for herself, they, without, sometimes with knowing, sometimes they do it consciously, and sometimes they do it subconsciously, where they automatically tell this young lady, oh no, I'll get it for you, I got it, I got it. That is enabling the woman to be dependent. You're enabling dependency. Because if she's a woman, I didn't say a young lady, I didn't say a girl, I said a woman. If she's a if she's a young woman going into womanhood or already attained womanhood to some degree, she's gonna know she's gonna need to know how to be independent. But if you're an enabler and you're always allowing her to be dependent and complacent, she'll never grow. And the same goes with a young man. If he lived his life where his mama did everything for him, but sometimes daddies are a little, little bit more strict or so. It's a stereotype, but I see it often. Um, but if the mother does everything for him or he lives in a house full of women and they do everything for him then when he gets older and he so happens to get a significant other he's going to feel like she needs to do that too like he's going to feel like he don't need to do anything because mama always did something for him or grandma always did something for him or auntie always did something for him that's an enabler. Daddy's little girl, if you have a daughter and you're a father, you don't constantly shower your daughter with everything she wants just because you feel like you owe her that and you want to be there so you want her to feel secure. You cannot buy love. You can make a person respect you not even make a person. You can put a person in an emotional state where they respect you more. They have a higher recognition for you. But you're just being an enabler to a long-term problem. Because when they become adults, they won't be able to fend for themselves. And that's why I say an enabler is a dangerous person. Because you are creating the destruction of the world's progression. You are literally terminating proficiency. Literally. So, just keep that in mind. This is another tidbit. I just wanted to touch on that real quick because someone sent me something. And when they sent me the email, I just kept thinking to myself, oh, this reminds me about an enabler. So I wanted to touch bases with you all and let you know, give you some of my philosophy on an enabler. Thank you for listening and have a blessed day.